Okay, we're here with Wade Hales, and he's the, let's see, Program Director of Emergency Medical Services and Fire, what, Fire Services, too? Fire Service so Technology. We're, so are we talking about two things, or are there similarities to these two things? Um, they are two separate programs, um, but, uh, but they're, we've, we've put a lot of similarities in with them. Um, we've actually tied the programs together um, with a new um, associate degree uh, that is paramedic associate with a basic operations firefighter. Okay. okay. So um, what, what do these kids do in class? Are, is it more hands-on? Are they out doing, are they doing um, a lot of it's, stuff? It's about 50-50. Um, there is a good lecture portion of it. Um, a lot of uh, lecture currently in this state have been online. Um, we, we do utilize in some of the courses a, a learning platform with my paramedic program. Um, but then the rest, all of our classroom time, we, we associate with trying to get uh, hands-on approach to content learned, uh, do a lot of well, physical hands-on assessments, um, skills and airway, sure. IVs, etc. cetera. What, ki what kind of kids are good at this? I mean, I, I know you've got a cross-section of everything, but what kind of personality do you have to have to be able to do this kind of work? actually runs the gamut. I've gotten everybody and everybody from the traditional student, college-based student that, that comes in just looking for some kind of hands-on career to um, uh, have had several students come from the university um, looking for experience and getting hands-on um, clinical practice and having the ability to have some patient contact time that may be looking at furthering their career into doctors and uh, physicians um, to the returning learner um, that um, is a volunteer for their local fire department and is looking to give back to the community. Um, so really the program is, is, is pretty diverse in population as far as, as who we see. Well, and I'm guessing there's probably a fair amount of different jobs that you can go into after you graduate too. Yeah, some of the students go on and they get on the uh, local ambulance services here within the community or the surrounding communities. Um, they may look to continue that education and become paramedics later. Um, they, then we also have students that are um, like continuing learners that they're actually using this time to fill in while they're going on to med school. I, I know like a lot of the kids are on their probably their volunteer fire departments at home that come in here. I've seen those. Is that kind of common? Uh, yeah. Yep. And in fact, we've actually got a um, we have a high school program that we, we utilize too. It's one of the things that I typically um, try to preach to the students that if they're going to be staying around their homes, going to stay at home and come back to Parkland College to 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 look at other coursework or, or do things but give back to your community. Um, so we, we see a, uh, roughly about 15 to 20 of those students every spring that, that are actually finishing their EMT courses before they even graduate high school. Yeah, so what kind of, if you're, if you're going into this, um, what kind of classes do you need besides these classes? Is there anything that helps more than anything else? Um, the other classes that, um, that we look at taking is, um, medical term will never hurt, I mean, if you have the opportunity to take a medical terminology class, um, that always is beneficial, a, a basic A&P class. Um, our, our program itself is, is pretty self-contained, um, where the MT is a single class, it, it is five credit hours, and it, it is one semester, and then at the completion of the class, then, you can, then you're allowed to test for the, uh, uh, the National Registry, which allows you to be able to move around the United States and, and maintain your, your licensure wherever you go. Um, the paramedic class consists of five classes and those start at a, as an introduction to like A&P and pharmacology and then goes all the way through um, an internship where um, you will ride with the ambulance to obtain um, a, a number of patient calls varying from cardiac to trauma. Yeah, um, we always have to ask, what, what kind of pay range are we looking at? Is it kind of all over the place? Um, it depends. I mean, volunteer obviously is volunteer. just that as volunteer. Yeah. Um, but um, the average salary, and I think I, last time I had looked, um, was somewhere in between 30 to 35 starting out for an EMT. Um, and, and for a paramedic, it's, it's somewhere between, it's about 40,000 starting out per year, roughly. Um, obviously, um, 
the shifts run a little different. And so when you look at starting pay compared to, to salary, um, that changes because they work on a 24 hour shift schedule. So one week they may work two weeks for 48 hours, the next week they work 72 hours. And so um, they end up with a little build in over time. And well, and that's something that they probably better get used to in a lot of ways. Like you oh, gotta yeah. be pretty flexible in this career. Is that correct? I mean, yeah. and no matter what it is, every day is different and every situation is different. Oh yeah, every day is, every day and every situation is different. Um, and that's why they call it practicing medicine and not doing medicine. <laughs> they uh, tends to, um, today you may, you may run five calls and they just kind of run the mill and tomorrow. Uh, the next time you're on shift, you may have a, a cardiac call as soon as you get there on shift, and the next one's an auto accident, and then the next one's, uh, you know, a stroke or something, yeah. you know, that uh, traumatic that that occurs. So, what what's it like when you look at like go out in the community and you see these students you've taught and things like that? How does that make you feel? Um, I, I actually get a lot of uh, calls and, and returns from students. Um, I, I work with a lot of them because I'm on uh, the volunteer department in my hometown. And so um, I do have the ambulance service comes through. So I do get to see a lot of students or former students. Um, and, and so, you know, you go to being an instructor to now we're just peers. Yeah. We're working in the system. We're, we're working towards the same uh, the same goals and that's helping people and, and saving lives.